Yo, today we're talking about shredding. So I've been doing the Swole program as part of the fitness culture app. Um, strength gains have gone up, everything's gone up, but now that it's getting a little bit warmer outside, I'm gonna be doing a three week cut. Now, this 21 day spring shred challenge is something that we offered last year and we had insane results. So we're doing it again this year. I'm excited because it kind of gives me a new little mini break. So I've been slowly, incrementally trying to gain about a pound per week. With all the traveling and stuff, I'm not gonna say I've done the best job staying on top of that. Now, I get to get lean again. And I'm excited because we had some boating trips coming up once this weather comes around. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how I lose body fat and how to do it quicker than normal. You know, I always am a big proponent of if you have a long time to get lean, always take a long time. The best way to keep muscle, um, to preserve muscle while on a cut is to do it nice and slow. That being said, if you have a trip coming up, if you want to get, you know, lean for the spring, this 21 day shred we saw tremendous results with. So it's intense, but it's how I get ready for if I have a photo shoot coming up or that last month before a show when you really need to kick it into high gear. This is pretty much what we do um, in order to get that kind of that kind of results. You're gonna need to implement things that we're gonna talk about. Things like nutrient timing, resistance training, hit. So a little bit about what we have going on here. 21 days, it's gonna start uh, on the 26th. So you can sign up right now, we're gonna include the link on this, on this video. You can sign up right now to do it. But what we're doing here is trying to m maximize fat loss in a three week period. I don't want you guys doing this after the three week period. If you guys wanna continue on with the program, you can do so with the Fitness Culture app. Um, but the, for this 21 days, we're gonna be at a caloric deficit. A caloric deficit meaning you're eating fewer calories than you are burning, or you're burning more calories than you're taking in, that's where we're gonna to need to be. The biggest thing that we're gonna be concentrating on is carb cycling. Now, carb cycling just means that on any given day, we're eating a different amount of carbs. If I know my, my car, what my carbohydrates need to be in conjunction with my protein and my fat. So I'm just gonna put, you know, carbs are four calories per gram. Protein is four calories per gram. And fat, fat's the big one, it's nine calories per gram, which is kind of why fat gets a bad rap, but fat is not the enemy. Fat is gonna control hormones in our body. Fat is gonna lubricate your joints. Fat makes you feel good and makes you feel bad if you don't have enough of it. Too much, you're gonna feel you know, sluggish and you're gonna have weight gain. So we need to know the diet. We give you guys the diet and training aspect of this and it's all based around carb cycling. So for me, for example, I'm 220 pounds, right at about 10% body fat. So for me, if I average about 225 grams a day for the week, that's the average. That means carb cycling, some days are gonna be down to 100. I'm gonna have refeed days that coincide with my resistance training. So on like a leg day, if it's a leg day, I'm gonna probably, or the day before legs, I'm gonna have a refeed day. If I'm only doing cardio, I might be at 100 grams of carbs that day, if it's just a, a cardio day. This is actually the split. So as you can see, we have an upper body, chest and back, hypertrophy based, with some list cardio. We have then a leg day, hypertrophy, shoulders and arms, hypertrophy with list. Then we have hit back to legs, which is high volume, a lot of supersets, and then an upper body day, high volume, pump day, a lot of supersets, and then hit cardio on there. So that's it for our training, and then our hit, hit high intensity interval training. Now you can see on here we use LIS, which is just low intensity steady state training. We use that on days that we have big workouts, like our, our chest and back we use LIS, our shoulders and arms we use LIS. So the hit, is for days that aren't gonna be as taxing on our central nervous system. This is kind of kind of what we're doing. Again, very, very intense. My carbohydrates are gonna come down. Some days you're gonna be at 100. On those days where the carbs are at 100, you're gonna to need to dig deep. You need to maybe have an extra cup of coffee, but fight through it, because it's only three weeks. So today I'm starting this out. Uh, we're gonna go down there and get our first workout in. I have some caffeine in me, if you can't tell. Let's go jump and do it. Also, the grand prize is a trip to Australia, Noosa, Australia, with me and Jacob for an active escape. So we're gonna be there 
we're gonna be there. These Active Escapes, we'll put a link to their site as well. Active Escapes is a company that I've worked with before. They do destination like vacations that revolve around fitness. Jake and I are leading this one in Australia. That is the grand prize, airfare, food, stay, everything. So kind of a fun thing that you guys can do, take part in. I know I'm excited to do it because by no means am I big right now, but I wanna get lean lean or leaner for the next three weeks. So let's go jump in and do it. this week. Yo, we put those warm-ups in there so you guys make sure you do them. So today is actually the Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the 21 day shred. A lot of supersets, it's a hypertrophy day. We got 12 reps on strict barbell press here. And when I say strict, I'm not bending my knees and pushing it up, no push press here. So you can see a lot of anterior delt, tricep there at the top of the movement, finishing off straight above my head. I'm not pushing it forward and then I'm controlling it on the way back down. 12 reps gets awful heavy. Strict press, a lot harder than push press. Whew. So we're supersetting it. I take about 30 seconds rest max in between. We go on and now we're doing a face pull. We have 15 reps on these face pulls. I do them with a the cable. You could also have, if you have a TRX, you could do it with the TRX. Biggest thing is to try to pull that rope back to the middle of your forehead, pulling it all the way. Rear delt, that posterior delt, as well as traps coming into play here. And some, you know, rhomboid, some back muscles as well. And a little biceps. You're obviously having to use your biceps for this. But for every pushing movement, we just did that big pushing movement. Now we're offsetting with a pulling movement. Set one. You know, after after set one, the pump's feeling decent. The sweatshirt's got to come off. Shoulder day, you know. You know we're wearing a cap sleeve shoulder. <sighs> got a good pump. <sighs> so during that first super set, after each one, I would rest two minutes, and we had three three uh, three sets. I'm gonna include the entire workout in the description here. Next up, again, we're back to a pushing neutral grip single arm dumbbell press. This is a great exercise if one side's a little bit weaker than the other. You can only train as, as strong as the, the weakest side. So I'm putting my hand on my core so I remember to keep my core tight. If you don't have a, a strong core here, you're gonna be moving all over the place and you're not gonna be able to press as much overhead. My left side's actually my weaker side. So you'll see the next, the next round of these that I do, I start with my left side. You should actually always start with your weakest side. If you do have a weakness, because then you'll work off of that number of reps for your strong arm. Anterior delt again here, triceps, great stability exercise. That's what we're working here. All those tiny little stability muscles as well coming into play. Got to finish one more there to make it even with the other side. And then from there, we're going into our seated lateral raise, our dumbbell lateral raise. Now I try to stop these, I try not to rest at the bottom. I try to keep tension on it as long as I can, coming out straight to the sides. If I bring them up any higher than this, a lot of trap is gonna take over. So this is a medial head. This is the middle head of your deltoid. This is gonna give you that nice round shoulder. See here, I'm starting off with my left side. I wanna pause a half second at the top if you can here and fight it on the way down. If you want to get a little bit crazy on your last set, after you get done, just hold the weight out here for as long as you can. I add these in because I don't work my posterior delts enough. I'm gonna say that most people don't work their posterior delt enough. So these are not a part of the 21 day shred program. I added them in reverse cable fly. So this is gonna target the rear delt, the posterior delt again. And this one here is great because the cable provides constant tension. 
You can also do these bent over with a dumbbell. I actually like cables more on this one. It's one of the few exercises I prefer cables on. And then also, again, this isn't an exercise you'll find on the program. We're lying on the floor using a cable apparatus to do a upright row, which is now turning into a horizontal row. Um, but we're squeezing at the top. This one here is going to involve some traps, anterior delt, some posterior delt here. Good one for shoulder health. I actually did this for the first time with Dana Lynn Bailey many years ago. And you can see my hand placement. As the, more, the more I'm pronating my wrist, the better rear delt involvement I'm getting. And here I try to bring it up to my as close as I can on my body the entire way. That last superset, it's not you're not gonna find it on the shred challenge. I just really am in love with training shoulders these days. So I added it in. I can never have enough posterior delts. People all the time, their anterior delts get massive. Bodybuilders always have bigger delts than the general population. Posterior, usually not as much of a difference. Yo, did I just said I'm in love with training delt these days? Is that might have been the most meathead thing I've ever said in my life. Please excuse me. <laughs> uh, now we have arms. So moving on to triceps and biceps, our first superset here, we got eight to 12 reps and 90 seconds between each superset here. I'm resting too much at the top there, coming down to the top of my head. I really should be stopping right about right there and going back down. So I have constant tension on the triceps, but that was a pretty heavy first set. Next up, hammer curls, bicep brachialis. I always include a hammer curl or reverse curl into my arm training. I don't have a great bicep brachialis, so I try to work that. This is also a great overall mass builder. We're doing eight to 12 reps here, trying to squeeze. Again, there's no rest in between the triceps and bicep exercise, but after I'm done with this, I'll take 90 seconds before moving on to the next, the next round. Great forearm developer here too. Squeeze. If you have fat grips, you could definitely use those. I forgot mine. By the way, I think I won the gun show contest. We've been traveling so much we haven't measured lately. All right, next up, incline dumbbell curl. Now we're starting off with a bicep because we started off with a tricep last time. The thing about this exercise, we're doing one and one quarter movement. So we're coming up a quarter of the way and then all the way. I was really coming up more like halfway. I should only be coming up a quarter and then all the way. We have eight to 12 reps on here, but because we're not counting that quarter movement, it really ends up being more like, you know, 15, 16 reps. Uh, too heavy for me. I have to do a drop set there. Oh. Biceps, we're, we're gassed. Come on, man. Weak biceps. So I finished my set looks like a drop set but really it's just because i didn't get my set number of of reps that i wanted to hit this bench is a little bit too high here i'm going to change that here in a second i feel like i just predicted the future right there all right now super set straight into our tricep dumbbell overhead extension the biggest thing with this is you're going to want to get a good stretch we're working the long head of our triceps and then at the top you see my wrist coming back and kind of forcing the, the weight forward, that's really, if you're not doing that, that's not full range of motion. Again, this is a great triceps. I always do a tricep movement that's gonna be overhead for that long head. That, that is a beach body workout if I've ever seen one. You wanna get ready for the beach? Hit a little hypertrophy. Oh, good pump. We'll hit an upper body workout later on the week. It'll be kind of like all encompassing. Really high volume, lots of supersets. Um, but this was primarily focused on hypertrophy. So a little bit of strength, size, while we get lean. Next step here, I usually like to get a shake, my creatine, take 10 minutes, and then jump on the treadmill. And you have 30 minutes of list cardio. Today's a list day because we've already done about an hour's worth of lifting. So I don't want people doing hit. Hit will be actually, we have two hit sessions this week. So that'll be later on. I'm trying to keep the heart rate between 145 and 155. So you can either jog at a, on a flat treadmill. If I jog like this, I'll be at 155 or slow it down. So I was running there at about a, at six miles per hour. I'll slow it down to four, even three and a half. And I'll just go all the way up to seven incline. And now what we're doing, almost like a stair stepper, incline walking. Oh, now I don't want people doing this. I don't want you guys holding on with your hands here. 
just periodically to get your heart rate, it's fine. But when you're walking, you gotta be swinging your arms. You have to be keeping up with it. Pretty much, if you're just, if you're on the point of not being able to carry a conversation, that's where you wanna need to be. You can hear my voice, you can tell I'm breathing hard, but I'm still able to talk to you. This thing doesn't wanna give me my heart rate. You gotta, maybe you have an Apple Watch or something that will. All right, I got 28 more minutes of this. Cardio sucks, I haven't been doing it. If you wanna get lean though, you're gonna have to do some of it. So two list sessions a week and two hit sessions a week. That's it for today. I'm gonna go home, I gotta take care of my dog. See you guys next time.